So I went to the candy house today, which was both a good and a bad thing. A good thing because I had a really good interview with them and I got to meet the women who run this enterprise and they're all super nice. A bad thing because I ended up with a whole bag of candy and cookies. Now the worst part about a bag of candy and cookies from this place is it's a bag of really good candy and cookies, which means you're probably going to eat the entire thing. So much for my pre-summer dieting plan. My name is Peggy and I am the daughter and the goddaughter of partner owner of this candy house and also my aunt. <laughs> we sell nougats. Um, we have different flavors. Our originals are nougat with macadamia nuts and we have some special flavors such as mango, cranberry and during season we have strawberry flavor and of course the traditional ones with peanut and almond. We also sell uh, pineapple cake and made, it's made from uh, local Taiwanese pineapple and we also sell cheesecake, chocolate cake, brownies, uh, cookies. Okay, so who makes all this stuff? My lovely aunts. There are four sisters and all four of them come in and work from Monday to Saturday. They do everything by hand. They do everything by hand. Their husbands from time to time come and help too. <laughs> Like my dad. <laughs> okay, and New Year? New Year is the high season for this business and we all come and help. We worked till late night, we almost pull all nighters and all of my cousins and myself come and help after work. My aunt, which is also my godmother, she loves candy, she loves sweets and also bakery on the side. And she started learning how to make nougats and she started making it and all the relatives love the way she makes it because there's no additives, there's no um, preservatives. There we use um, glu glucose instead of sugar and we use um, local materials. We sell on our website, on Facebook and via phone. Most people call in for orders and the transaction goes through via ATM wire transfer. The process we start with the raw material, glucose and um, knife and right? And milk powder and then cream. And we mix it all up in a big bowl and we heat it up to a certain temperature and let it remain there while we um, whip some eggs that becomes cream and then we put them all together into a big cluster of like milk candy. When it's, uh, it's formed then we throw in the macadamia nuts or that's when we add in mango or strawberry or cranberry. <laughs> we lay flat on a we cooking tray. tray. Yeah. We pour it out, but it, however, it's not in a liquid form anymore. We have to press it down to flatten it to fit it into the baking tray and let it cool down for about an hour to an hour and a half, at least minimum an hour. And then we cut. We remove it from the tray and we cut. We hand cut them all. Okay. After cutting, um, we wrap it first. First layer, we, we wrap it with rice paper. After rice paper, we wrap it with plastic paper and they're both see-through. 
and for one tray of nougat we can package about 10 bags that weighs about 300 grams. The goal of the candy house is to have everything handmade and we do sell it on the shelf but after five days we will take it off and we prefer the customers eat freshly made.